The time has come. It's peanut butter face day. So a user named DBZHAX, I'm not sure if there's actually a way to pronounce that, suggested either peanut butter face or sharpie face for my punishment. It was eventually agreed upon that peanut butter face was the winner. I had this all planned out and then I found out earlier today that it's National Peanut Butter Lover's Day. That's fitting. So I'm gonna tell you facts about peanut butter while I cover my face in it. Let's do this. That smells really good. Now this is 28 ounces, but did you know that for every 12 ounce jar of peanut butter, it takes about 540 peanuts? Now that might seem like a lot, but there are enough peanuts in one acre on a peanut farm to make 30,000 peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter was first introduced to the US in 1904, at the Universal Exposition in St. Louis by C.H. Sumner, who sold $705.11 of it at his concession stand. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, this is happening. <laughs> in the United States, there's a law that says any product labeled peanut butter must be at least 90% peanuts. Actually, the first person to patent peanut butter was Marcellus Gilmore Edson in Montreal, and that was in 1884. But later, in 1895, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, who was a physician and wanted to help his patients eat more plant-based protein, patented his procedure for making peanut butter. Two of the United States presidents have been peanut farmers, Thomas Jefferson and Jimmy Carter. Now, Peanuts have actually been to some kind of weird places. There's an astronaut, Alan B. Shepard, and he brought a peanut with him to the moon. That's pretty cool. Tom Miller pushed a peanut to the top of Pike's Peak, which is 14,100 feet tall, using his nose. And that took him four days, 23 hours, 47 minutes, and three seconds. The person with the Guinness World Record for peanut throwing which was 111 feet and 10 inches in 1999, is Adrian Finch. Unfortunately, I don't think we're related. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. peanut butter mustache. The average American eats more than six pounds of peanuts and peanut butter products every year. And the average child will eat 1,500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before graduating from high school. People living on the East Coast generally prefer creamy peanut butter, and people on the West Coast prefer crunchy peanut butter. I guess there are a lot of granola-y people on the West Coast. Clearly I didn't plan ahead and put up my hair. So now I just have peanut butter in my hair, okay. I'm gonna go wash off all this. And Edith, I'll see you tomorrow.